Hey guys, what is up? This is DK470 bringing you today's video. Today's video will be on how to uh, farm and uh, and also trophy push. Not at the same time. Um, well, I guess it could be at the same time, but just like the basics of how to do it and how to make it the most efficient way to do it um, and how to attack like that and stuff like that. So what you're going to want to do, say you're wanting to uh, do, I'm doing this for my base. It works with almost any base. Um, whether you're Town Hall level 5 or Town Hall level 10, it really doesn't matter. The concepts are all the same. Um, if you're trophy pushing, you'll obviously want your Town Hall in the middle. Um, if resources don't really matter to you, what you can do is you can um, pop out the resources and put in a defense or something like that. But at the same time, you don't want to just bring all your defenses into the middle of your base if you're a higher Town Hall. Because then they can just easily 50% 50, uh, 50 you. Like, if I was trophy pushing, you would want to bring all the outside stuff um, inside, um, so it wasn't just that extra little percent could get them that 50%, which is not what you're going to want to do. Um, you'll always want um, to keep your defenses, like your best defenses, near your town hall, like your mortars, air defenses, expos, inferno towers if you have it. Um, if you still want um, resources, if you're doing, if you still want resources, but you're still trophy pushing, um, you can have a setup like I am. I mean, I'm not really trophy pushing, but I like to stay around gold too because that's where I like to find, find loot. Um, you can keep some defenses in the middle, but also have a good, uh, strong defenses um, in there too, just to keep them away from your town hall. That's one more star. That's just. However, so many trophies that they can take away from you, which you obviously don't want them to take. Um, if you're farming gold, keep your gold in the middle. Um, go for bases that have a lot of gold in their gold mines or storages. If the storages are near what you can get to with the amount of troops you have. Um, if you're farming elixir, keep it inside as well and just... I mean, everything is, like, interchangeable because everything's about, I think, 3 by 3 so if you want to like take this out, you can put a defense in. Everything's interchangeable with whatever base design you have. It should be pretty easy to just to flip something out for. So if you want to do trophy pushing, you take out your storages and um, you obviously wouldn't put two gold storages near each other or Elix or anything like that and stick a defense in. I'm just showing you guys. Um, tr when you're farming, try to keep your um, storages away from each other because like I have mine spread out. Because say they do, say they're attacking from the right. If they come in from the right and they take out this storage, if you had this one where that archer tower is or somewhere near that area, then that's just as many, as much more um, gold that they're going to be taking away from you. And if you spread them out, it's harder to get to. They're like, uh, someone comes in here, the first 25 seconds to an attack is crucial. They'll come in, alright, his gold storages are spread out so it's gonna be kinda hard. I'd have to three star him to get all the gold that I need um, or that he's um, available. If it might say I have tons of gold and they're wanting to get that, you wanna keep them separated. Um, your dark elixir, it's really up to you. Um, I have it in the middle because I've been training a lot of dark troops, um, wizards, golems, hogs, just they're in my opinion some of the best troops in this game. Um, my favorite troops in my opinion are the golem, the witch, the dragon, um, and the Hog Rider. The P.E.K.K.A.'s up there, but it's just, with the cost and amount of troops it, um, takes up, it's just one of those that's, like, really strong and everything, but just not one of my favorites just because of the other factors that's into it, into it, where you can only make so many. Um, I like the Dragon because it's, uh, air unit hogs because they hop over walls and take out defenses, mainly air defenses first, um, because if you position them right, um, and then witches and golems just because of that go wee wee attack that I've been using uh, really frequently um, nowadays, but yeah, so just if you follow those tips, it's so easy to um, farm or trophy push, so just um, there's some easy steps for you, um, also what I like to do when I'm uh, trophy pushing or farming, um, you want to have this kind of a troop variety where you have archers, um, barbarians, and Golems, golems aren't really needed, but it's just for that extra little bit of loot. Um, go in and just uh, take out that outside perimeter, um, take out his mines if they're full, and get that 50% or his town hall on the outside as well. 
Um, so it's really easy, and you don't even have to if you have your heroes. If the town hall's on the outside, take that out, get out of there, and there you go. Your heroes at full health and everything. You get those that little bit of trophies. So it's really helpful. Um, so yeah, um, thanks you guys for um, watching. Um, make sure you guys check out all my other videos. Um, my Twitter at DK470 to get the latest uh, channel information. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Um, I love you guys uh, with your commenting, liking. I mean, I love your guys' feedback. It's great. Um, so make sure to subscribe and follow uh, my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.